Hi, my name is Rachel West. I'm from Silesianum School in Wilmington, Delaware. I chose The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Um, it's been one of my favorite books published recently. I love John Green and how passionate he is about literacy and libraries. Um, I feel like he's very relatable for all of my students in a high school, but also for any adults and, well, anyone. Um, so here's my bit that I chose. Isaac cleared his throat. Augustus Waters was a self-aggrandizing bastard, but we forgive him. We forgive him not because he had a heart as figuratively good as his literal one sucked, or because he knew more about how to hold a cigarette than any non-smoker in history, or because he got 18 years when he should have gotten more. 17, Gus corrected. I'm assuming you've got some time, you interrupting bastard. I'm telling you, Isaac continued, Augustus Waters talked so much that he'd interrupt you at his own funeral. He was pretentious. Sweet Jesus Christ, that kid never took a piss without pondering the abundant metaphorical resonances of human waste production. And he was vain. I do not believe I have ever met a more physically attractive person who was more acutely aware of his own physical attractiveness. But I will say this, when the scientists of the future show up at my house with robot eyes and they tell me to try them on, I will tell the scientists to screw off because I do not want to see a world without him. I was kind of crying by then. And then, having made my rhetorical point, I will put my robot eyes on because, I mean, with robot eyes, you can probably see through girl shirts and stuff. Augustus, my friend. Godspeed. Augustus nodded for a while, his lips pursed, and then gave Isaac a thumbs up. After he'd recovered his composure, he added, I would cut the bit about seeing through girls' shirts. Isaac was still clinging to the lectern. He started to cry. He pressed his forehead down to the podium, and I watched his shoulders shake, and then finally he said, God damn it, Augustus, editing your own eulogy.